Hello guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 modding tutorial. In today's video we will be installing GTA 5 Real and LA Revo 2.0. Uh, this mod was made by ADNR Studios, big shout out to him. Basically this mod is a full virtual remake of California Los Angeles. This mod is amazing and I do recommend it because it's just so amazing. And before we do get into the video guys I do want to say some things. First of all I would really recommend starting a fresh like a fresh clean version of the game just starting from a fresh clean version with no mods because if you do install this it could cause issues and stuff like that because some mods you might have installed are not compatible with 5 real so I'd definitely recommend starting from a clean version of the game and also if you do have pack file or heap limit adjuster do take them out your game files before you do install this because you do not need them for five real okay and also if you ins if you want to install any additional graphic mods such as quant v or nve install them before you install this guys now um before we do get into the tutorial i would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe as it really does help me out let's go ahead and get right into the video so the first thing you're going to actually need is the actual five real files which will be from adnr studios patreon page i will link all the um mods and requirements in the descriptions we will be covering all the requirements so the first thing is you want to go ahead and join adnr studios patreon page Go ahead and download the five real files uh, to do that all you want to do is go to his patreon page go ahead and go down to where it says choose your membership go ahead and choose a membership and uh, i'd recommend reading through all of these here just to know what the role will give you guys so once you've chosen a membership down here uh, go ahead and download the five real files and let's get right into the video okay so we're going to go ahead and go through all the requirements and stuff but the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is find our main game directory to do that guys all you want to do is go to steam once you're in steam guys go ahead and go to your library then go to grand theft auto v go to this manage tab hover over manage go to browse local files click on that then if it doesn't come up just minimize steam now it should come up Go ahead and put that in full screen. So this is where our main game directory is, where we'll be installing all the mods to, obviously. <clears throat> and uh, before we do start, if you go back into common, uh, before we do start, guys, I'd recommend backing up your game files just in case. Uh, I always say this, but to do that, just click on your Grand Theft Auto V. Go ahead and right click, show more options, copy it, go down here, right click, show more options, and paste it here. That might take a while, but it's very recommended. And also, if you go back into Steam apps find the common folder, drag it underneath desktop where it says to pin to quick access, let go, so every time you close it, so you can go back into common, straight into your main game directory. Now let's get right into the tutorial. So once you've found your main game directory, just go ahead and put it up here guys. And now we're gonna go into the links guys. So the first, I will be covering the requirements. First link is gonna be Scriptuck V, a link in the description for this, it'll take you to here, okay? Once you're here guys, go ahead and go down to the download button, which is just here. Go ahead and click on that. Go ahead and download that. Go ahead and open that with WinRAR. Okay, once you've opened Scriptuck V with WinRAR, you'll see three uh, files in here. You'll see an internet shortcut, a text document, and a bin folder, okay? Go ahead and go into that bin folder. Now you'll see three files in here. Go ahead and select all of them and then hold left control and deselect native trainer.asi. All you want highlighted is dimper8.dll and scriptsucv.dll. Once you've got them two selected, drag them and drop them into your main game directory where it says to copy to Grand Theft Auto V. Just in here, guys, then go ahead and let go. Then go ahead and refresh. Now you should have scriptsucv installed, which is one of our main requirements. Now the next one is going to be scriptsucv.net. Take you to this GitHub page here. Go ahead and scroll down to the latest version, make sure it is and then go to the latest assets and click on the one that says scriptucv.net.zip, okay? Click on that one. Go ahead and download that, open it with WinRAR. Okay, once you've opened it with WinRAR, you'll see a few files in here. Go ahead and select all the scriptucv files, all the scriptucv.net uh, files, sorry, and just don't select the license text or the readme text because they are, you don't need them. Just select these files here. Once you've got all these scriptucv.net files selected, Go ahead and drag them and drop them into your main game directory just here and then let go then refresh okay now you've installed scriptucv.net go ahead and close that 
Now, the final thing we're going to need is OpenIV, guys. Uh, it'll take you to openiv.com, link in the description. Click on the download now green button here. Once you clicked on that, go ahead and download it. Now, go ahead and open the OVI setup.exe. A window will pop up here, guys. Just click on English and then click continue. Go ahead and read through the license terms and then click I accept the terms of this agreement, click continue, uh, click continue again, click install, and click yes, okay. Now it's just going to go ahead and install, it will not take too long. Once it's installed, just click close, fresh, now go ahead and once you've installed OpenIV, go ahead and open it uh, from your desktop. Okay, go ahead and open that. Now another window will pop up here, guys. Go to Grand Theft Auto V, then go to Windows and click on Windows. Now it's going to ask where your main game directory is located. I'm going to go ahead and show you where it is. Click on Browse. You could go to Common, but if you don't, if you haven't pinned it, I'll show you where it is. Go to this PC. Go to your local disk. Go to Program Files times 86. Go down to Steam. Go down to Steam Apps. Common. Grand Theft Auto V, and then click Select Folder. Okay. Now it should come up with a green text here, just click continue. Now click continue again. Now it's going to go ahead and load up for the first time, which might take a bit longer than usual. Once it's loaded up, go ahead and put it in full screen. Uh, now what you want to go ahead and do is go to tools, go to ASI manager. And go ahead and install all of these ASI loader, openiv.asi and open camera. Just make sure they're all green, so just click install. If ASI loader isn't already installed, click install. Then install openiv.asi, install that. Now if it asks you to create a mods folder, you can go ahead and do that. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to show you that you do, don't need to create an actual mods folder for this because Fireal will actually do it for you. So I'm going to click no, okay? You can create one, it's completely up to you. And then also install open camera. Once all three of these are installed, click close, okay? Then go ahead and click on edit mode and click yes. Now, what we want to do is we want to drag this just to this side, somewhere here, guys. Then what you want to go ahead and do now, guys, is you want to go to your five real LA Revel 2.0 files, wherever you've downloaded them to. So once you've downloaded them, go ahead and open it this is a january 2024 update by the way as i'm recording right now it's the latest update for five real go ahead and open this complete five real on whatever update is then you'll see a few files in here and a few text documents okay so first of all we want to go ahead and go inside the main installation files then you'll see a bunch of parts here part one all the way to part 11 what you want to go ahead and do with these is you want to install all of them from part one to part 11 okay so for that guys just go ahead and make sure open iv is open with edit modes you've installed all of the you've gone to asi manager and you've installed all of these you've got edit mode on uh, and what you want to go ahead and do in the main installation files is install these so i'm going to start with part one guys go ahead and click on part one drag and drop it into open iv let go now it'll come up with this click um install and install to mods folder and then it confirm installation once part one's done um go ahead and click close and we're going to do part two go ahead and drag and drop it again just like part one install to mods folder confirm installation just like we did with part one okay we're going to do this for each and every one all the way to part 11 and i'm going to go through this with you guys once part two is done guys, click close. Now go to part three, go ahead and drag and drop it into OpenIV. Install to mods folder, confirm installation. Once part three is done, click close. Go to part four, drag and drop. Install to mods folder, confirm installation. Once part four is done, close. Go to part 5, drag and drop into OpenIV, install into the mods folder, confirm installation. Same thing again, once part 5 is done, click close, 
part six, drag and drop, install, into the mods folder, confirm installation. Once part six is done, close, part seven, drag and drop, install, into the mods folder, confirm installation. Once part seven, close, part eight, drag and drop, same thing, install, into the mods folder, confirm installation. Part 8, close. Go to part 9, drag and drop. Install. To the mods folder, confirm installation. Part 9's done, go ahead and click close. Go to part 10, drag and drop. Install. Into the mods folder, confirm installation. Once part 10 is done, click close. Part 11, the final one, go ahead and drag and drop it into OpenIV. Install into the mods folder, confirm installation. Part 11 is done guys, click close. Go ahead and refresh that. Now we're done with the main installation files. Once you've done all of these, one to 11, you can pause that by the way. Uh, as you can see now we have a mods folder, that's just proof right there. It just creates a mod folder for you, so you don't actually need to create one yourself. But once you've installed all, all the main installation files, we can go out of this. Right, the next one we're going to go ahead and install is the real graphics. This is optional, but it is. it might be optional, but I'm going to use this myself because it, it's graphics and it just makes the game look better. So if you want to go ahead and install that, go ahead and go into the real graphics. And then go ahead and there's also an enb and reshade presets but we won't be installing enb or reshade so we're just going to go ahead and go into the five real underscore graphics go ahead and drag that into the open iv and then install it and then into the mods folder confirm installation that might take a while once it's done click close now you've installed the graphics go back out of it now the final thing is the realism script which is recommended realism script is what basically um you this why you don't need pack file or heap limit adjuster because you have realism script but if you don't want to install this which i do recommend to install it you can go ahead and install pack file and heap limit adjuster but we're going to go ahead and install realism script so go ahead and go into the realism script folder go ahead and drag realism script into your open iv now this time it's going to be different when you click install as you can see it will be game folder uh, it won't let you go into the mods folder so go ahead and install it directly into the game folder by clicking by clicking game folder guys and then confirm installation this might take a while to install realism script because it is a big big mod and a really really good script as well so i'll be back once it is finished Okay guys, so once uh, the realism script is done, go ahead and click close. Uh, now you can go out of this and you can go ahead and refresh guys. Now we are done installing 5Real and LA Revo 2.0. So now you can go into game, but there's something also, uh, there's, you'll see another file in here called add-ons. If you go inside of there, you'll see a few add-ons here. We will not be installing any of them, but if you do want to, feel free to install them. And I'll just uh, go through them real quick. So there's change density. So you can change your actual game config. Okay. Then there's delete add on vegetation. And then there's for comp V users, which if you have comp V, you can go ahead and read the instructions here and it'll tell you what to do. And then there's also FPS boost. So if you're having problems with FPS, you can go ahead and go in here and there'll be in, uh, instructions in there. And then there's also the satellite map which uh, I do normally use. So you can go ahead and install it if you want, but I'm not gonna go ahead and install it for now because I'm not gonna be installing any add-ons. But just go, if you want to install the satellite app, just go ahead and go inside of there. Pick one, I'm gonna go ahead and pick 4K plus 8K, the mix. Go ahead and go into the installer, rag and drop it into OpenIV. Click install, into the mods folder, then confirm installation, okay? But I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. And then there's less scam fights, LSPDFR. So if you use LSPDFR, guys, you go ahead and read these steps and it'll just go ahead and install the LSPDFR vehicles for ELS, okay? 
and then there's NVE compatibility. Basically, if you're using NVE, go ahead and read this. There'll be instructions inside of there. And then there's Voltrametric Clouds in there. Instructions. And then there's widescreen radar fix, okay. There's info in there and there's an installer. And then there's the blur removal. If you want to go ahead and remove the blur, go ahead and drag it into your open IV. Go ahead and click install and then mods folder and confirm installation, okay? But again, we won't be installing any add-ons, but that's how to install them. So now, once you've done that, guys, installed your add-ons and installed it, go ahead and close everything. And um, now we can go ahead and get into the game, so I'll see you guys inside the game. Okay, guys, so once you get into the game, as you can see, everything has already improved. Uh, the graphics and it just looks absolutely incredible like i could not play without this mod anymore uh, something cool i like about five real guys is if you actually go to enter a cheat code and you type in five real and enter it right it'll come up with um an actual menu here where you can spawn vehicles blips reveal bus stops uh, show clocks earned xp it's really cool i personally use this for vehicle spawning but yeah it's a really cool really cool menu which i use and it's just really cool but um i've just spawned a lamborghini and i'm just gonna show you real quick what this actually looks like as you can see i love the motion blur how realistic it looks as well guys I really do love the looks of this. And you can go ahead and play around with it, you know? It looks really good. Look, just look at the reflections and everything. Wow. This mod is definitely worth the money, guys. Um, it's just like crazy how good it looks, how godly it looks. You know? As you can see, the realism script also is in the top corner. On the map, there'll be you can actually go to the airport and do stuff like if you load up the mod menu real quick. And then we go ahead and go to Blips Reveal. Turn these on. Let's just turn all of them on. Let's go to the map. And as you can see, there's a bunch of places you can go to. There's some motels hotels offices car dealerships where you can actually buy vehicles there's also an airport you can go to yeah, it's just a really cool mod i'm not really um a big fan of the motion blur but i'm starting to love it for some reason it just gives it such a more realistic vibe but yeah this is basically the end of this tutorial guys uh, if this did help you out in any way subscribing would really help me out if you did enjoy this video so thank you very much for watching and taking the time out of your day to watch this tutorial um, and I guess I'll see you guys later thank you and uh, goodbye guys